Praise the Lamb of God. Psalms 119, longest psalm in the book of Psalms. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And when you get there, look at verse 89. 119, verse 89. Say amen like you're Pentecostal when you get there. Amen. 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 Forever. Say that with me. Forever, O oh Lord, your word is settled in heaven. How long is this word? Forever. Forever. And what's it do? It just flip-flops and changes in heaven? No. No, it's settled. You know what that means? Fixed. Stationary. Consistent. Never changes. That means that Jesus promised it 2,000 years ago, you can live by it now. Amen. Now let me, listen. Oh dear God, I'm giving out revelation right now that will absolutely change your lives. And this will get all this nonsense of racism out of the church and all this nonsense of class out of church. If he, this man here joins the army, should have joined the Marine Corps, but we'll just work with that, okay? That was a joke. Sure. All right, we'll just work. We'll just take it down a notch. And you... <laughs> Praise <laughs> God. What was the Marine Corps birthday? i got to praise them a little bit. Amen. And that's all flesh, and it doesn't mean anything. But the example is right on. The examples that you can see. Paul said this, even nature testifies of God. You can get a, you can get a biblical, theological education if you just have the wisdom to study nature. An egg. Shell, white, and yolk. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. He said even nature testifies of God. A tree, bark, the wood, and the pole. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Everything in nature testifies of God. Everything in nature testifies of God. You look at a cow, they never date boy cows. A bull never runs around with a bull. A bull looks for a cow. A cow won't let another cow get near her. You know what that means? Even nature tells you homosexuality is not normal. You can learn all kinds of things about God just if you got the wisdom to study nature. This Bible said, look at the ant. The ant gets up, builds this great big intricate mound. How does he do it? Does it together. And they're not lazy. They work every day. And they work as a team. And they work as an army. And they have a leader, a queen ant. They have warrior ants. They have a, a rank structure in an ant colony. They clear down the worker ants, but everybody's busy. And they build this great big ornate kingdom underground because they're disciplined they work together a little ant can accomplish great things nothing happened in my life you ain't working with nobody you're not working with God you're not working with God's church you're not working with anybody just walk around saying well why don't things change because they, they changed you're a child of God living like a child of hell because you made a decision that this was just a book amen amen, amen. They changed. They just changed based on what you decided to give authority in your life. Now listen, this will get rid of this, man, I need to find a black church, and I need to find a black church, and I need to find this church. You need to go where God called you to go. Period. You know I haven't started one church where I said, well, look at there. I like that. I, I think I'm going to go start it. Where did I start churches? And I didn't even start them. Where did I go with Jesus to start churches? Thank you, brother. It's not. It's, it's that simple. I obeyed the Word. Jesus is the Word made flesh. The Spirit and the Word agree. It always goes back to this final authority. Now listen. If He joins the army and I join the army... Is he going to get any different uniform than I get? No. What food is he going to eat? The same food I eat. What kind of boots is he going to wear? The exact same quality of boots I wear. They look identical. What kind of weaponry, things of warfare, equipping to do battle is he going to get? Exactly the same I am. Exactly if Brandon is a black brother, joins the army, they're not going to give him a different quality weapon, a different kind of clothes, a different kind of boots. You get exactly the same quality for submitting to the same authority. Amen. Amen. 
So standing there saying, well, I wish I could have what Pastor T.C. has, and I wish I could be happy like Pastor C.C. Submit to the same authority. Amen. Amen. You get exactly what God gave Jesus if you'll believe it. Amen. There's not a devil in hell to stop the Lord. There's not a devil in hell supposed to be stopping you. Amen. Praise the Lamb. Amen. Amen. Good stuff. Amen. <clears throat> I lost my place. Psalms 119, verse 89. Forever, O Lord, your word is settled in heaven. Your faithfulness endures to all generations. Numbers chapter 21, up toward the front of your Bible. Numbers chapter 21. Jesus. Man, I'm glad I came to church. Amen. Amen. You know, I can look up here from the pulpit, look out into the congregation, and I can see change in almost every single person here. You know why? They choose to keep coming back. Your decisions release authority. The authority releases transformation. Amen. Amen? Are you Amen. ready? Listen to this. Numbers chapter 23. Look at verse... 19. Listen to this very closely. God is not a man. Well, that's that's news. Look at somebody say, God's not like you. God's not like you. He's a whole lot better than you. He's a whole lot better than you. But we're becoming like Him. But we're becoming like Him. Did you get that? Amen. Amen. God is not a man. Why? That He should lie. God never lies. That means you can always trust Him. Did you hear me? Amen. God's not a man like Tony and I, or like Jeff and I. As in, as much as I love both these guys, compared to God, they're flaky. Well, is that true? It's true. Compared to God, we are we are we're a mess. Amen. God won't lie like I've lied in the past. God won't tell a fib like I have told fibs in the past. God won't shade the truth ever. He is absolute, pure truth. So you know what that means? Anything God says is absolute truth, absolutely, all the time. Amen. Whatever God says is absolute truth, absolutely, all the time. Doesn't change with generations. Doesn't change with lifestyles. It's just as powerful as when he parted the Red Sea. It's just as powerful as when Jesus calmed the wind and the waves. It's just as powerful as when he yelled to the tomb, Lazarus, come forth! And the dead man walked. Thy word, O Lord, is forever settled. doesn't change. God's not a man that he would lie. He never lies. If he said it 2,000 years ago, it's the truth now. Amen. You shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. You shall cast out demons and devils. You shall raise the dead. My God shall supply all your needs according to His riches and glory through Christ Jesus. Greater is He that is in you than he that's in the world. If I choose, listen, greater is He that is in me than he that's in the world. If I choose to let Him that's in me have final authority, releasing all the laws of heaven with dominion and authority and power of heaven, they will always override and take dominion over the laws that were created from heaven. Amen. Which law are you going to submit to? I would really submit to a higher, never lying, never changing, all powerful law. Jesus Christ, Hebrews 13, 8. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. So this isn't what Jesus did that back then, and that's fine. But this, Pastor TC, this is 2010. We need to be relevant. We need. To, you've already lost the battle. You've already given authority away, taken authority over you. That's going to bring a curse on you, and you're going to live just like the cursed children. Amen. Amen.
Proverbs 2, 1 says this, that the Word is wisdom. The Word is the wisdom of God. If I want to know what to do in my life, this isn't just my wisdom. This is the wisdom of Almighty God. Over here in Proverbs chapter 4, verse 20, it says, The Word, O Lord, is wisdom to me. But I don't know what to do. This Bible does, because God knows what to do. You want to be in God's perfect plan? Obey the Word. The Word is His perfect will. Any decisions in your life? What does the Word say about it? Any obstacles come up in front of me? What does the Word say about it? I need to understand how to fix this. This is the wisdom of God. If it's important enough, listen to me, if it's important enough for you to stop, pause, and worry about it, it's important enough to research and find out the real answer. Because you can walk before all night, but until you know the answer, nothing changes. So instead of walking before all night, trying to figure it out in our pain little brains, or like the heathen that's just as cursed as I am, decides to solve the problem. I'll go to the final authority and it will have a problem with life in it. Not cursing. The wisdom of God always blesses. Greater is he that is in you than he that's in the world. God will overpower anything that comes against me if I let God reveal himself through his never changing word. Anything that's worth you thinking about is worth you finding the real answer. Amen. Psalms 119 verse 105 and we'll close with that. <clears throat> you didn't think you are going to learn anywhere near this much stuff today, did you? <laughs> See, sit up and scratch your head. Pastor, I didn't know you were that smart. I'm not. I'm just quoting the word to you. Amen. And I choose to believe it. Amen. 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 I'm glad I came to church. Amen. Psalms 119. Now look at 105. Verse 105. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Your word, talking to God, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Your word, O oh Lord, is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. You know what that means? I don't stumble around in darkness. I don't trip and fall because I can't see which way to go. He lights up the direction for my life. He lets me walk in the light of God, which lets me plainly see where to go, what direction to go, what obstacles to walk around, what pitfalls not to fall into. If you know it's there and you see it coming, you'll go around it. He gives you wisdom and understanding and counsel so that you walk in the light of God the rest of the days of your life. But you've got to turn the light on. Your Word directs my life. Your Word lights up my life so I don't stumble around in the dark. Your Word shows me the answers and takes me out of the darkness of confusion. Your Word shows me the pitfalls of hell and the obstacles of Satan. And I can go around them, over them, and behind them. Your word, your word, your word. Make it final authority or it has no authority at all. Amen. Amen. You don't join the army and say, I like the uniforms, but can I wear tennis shoes? You don't join the army and say, M16 is a good weapon, but I want a bazooka. You get what they issue. And it works the same for everybody, and it has equal value for everybody. You Amen. don't go in and say, I'll give you part of the... Look, I'll do the obstacle course, but I'm not wearing your uniform. I want to wear uh, my blue jeans. You know what? You're going to go to jail. Because the end result of violating the authority is always imprisonment. Whether it's natural law or spiritual law. You make the army, when you go... I do. It's total authority. Or it's no authority at all. They discharge you and kick you out. When you come to God, you make His word final authority, or He has no authority at all. Amen. 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 Did you learn something today? Amen. Give the Lord a great big hand clap. Hallelujah.